A new display at a Hawaii hotel evokes a time when Ali'i Nui high chiefs ruled the land in feathered cloaks. The artist who crafted the display is stitching together Hawaiian history one piece at a time. KITV4's Lei Kaholokula gives us a look. It's all new tonight at 6. The cape is part of a big collection. It's part of a 14 cape collection that was um, uh, commissioned by the Hawaiian Legacy Forest. Rick San Nicholas says he was compelled to weave replica cloaks after seeing a painting of Kamehameha I surrounded by 14 chiefs, all wearing feathered capes. Last year, he recreated the cloak worn by Kamehameha, and now he's begun to make the cloaks worn by the chiefs. After I did the research on the first one, it really made the second one much easier for me to go through, knowing what I see at the Bishop Museum and, you know, and, and being just blessed to be able to have the opportunity to go there. For San Nicolas, the workmanship isn't as tough as parting with his creation, a sort of bittersweet ahui ho. The difficult part is letting them go, you know, because letting them go is, uh, you know, just like letting one of your own go. San Nicolas's first cape is displayed at the Four Seasons Hualalai. His latest work now stands proudly in the lobby of the Kahala Hotel and Resort. While San Nicolas isn't the only Hawaiian featherwork practitioner, he hopes his pieces will inspire others and this type of art will thrive. The art of uh, cape making, you know, is, is going to live on and that this actually motivates, you know, others to want to do, do what I do. At the Kahala Hotel and Resort, Lake Kaholukula, KITV4 News.